I met Michael back in 2012 in the office of a mutual friend that we have. And we were being introduced for the first time. We were working on a video project that we were going to be doing together. Uh, and within the first 10 minutes of sitting down in the office and being introduced to one another, I was asked to kind of share my story with Michael. He asked me to pause. He said, I, I have to ask you to stop for a moment. He said, because I need to obey the Lord. And within the first 10 minutes now that we had met each other, he said, I have to obey the Lord. And he said, you're supposed to write. And he gave me a word about what God had said about me writing a book or a book that I had contained on the inside that had not yet been brought out. And this was the way that I was introduced to the life and ministry uh, of Michael Koulianos. In my life personally, for whatever the reason, God has decided to insert Michael into my life. And in key pivotal moments, in times and seasons, when we were in places, when we were wrestling with decisions, or whenever God was ready to break into our life and bring us up and in to something that was far greater than what our current experience was, Michael has been the man in the earth that God has chosen to do this by. It started in early 2012. Later that year, I would attend my first Jesus Image Vision Breakfast. Uh, we were living in Charlotte, North Carolina at the time, and my wife and I drove down to come to the breakfast because we wanted to attend just to be there to support Michael. At the close of the meeting, Michael, over the speaker, I heard, because I was sitting in the back, someone grabbed Michael Dow. The Lord just spoke to me about him, and I have a word. His team came and got me, brought me up to the front, and Michael looked at me and face to face, eye to eye, spoke to me about prayers that all year long I had been praying to the Lord and things that I had been asking God for with great intensity and fervency since the beginning of the year. Michael asked me to raise my hands, and when I lifted my hands, he said, God is going to put healing in these hands. God is going to put the power of the Spirit, and there will be a healing ministry that will come upon your life and into your life. And when he touched me, after I came up off of the ground, because I didn't even realize how the encounter was as it was going, I could not talk and my hands could not separate for almost six hours. They burned as if I was holding a coal or a flame in between my hands, and they were locked together, so much so that I could not even drive my vehicle when we were leaving the meeting. My wife had to drive us more than halfway back to Charlotte as we were leaving, and every time she tried to talk to me, all I could do was speak in the Holy Ghost and weep. It didn't matter what the question was. It didn't matter what was being talked about. All I could do was weep and shake under the power of God because of how incredible the Lord's touch on my life was in that moment at the first breakfast. Well, we fast forward now one year and we come back to the Jesus Image Vision Breakfast in 2013. And this time we are at a place in life where again, we're wrestling. We know that God has called us we know things the Lord has shown us in vision form. Earlier that year, I had had a dream about God connecting us with the nations and on and on and on, like I'm sure it is with so many of us. And I end up in Florida when I was not even supposed to be there at the vision breakfast. And once again, at the end of the meeting, I hear, I need Michael Dow. I come walking up to the front and Michael looks at me and he says these words. The Lord is going to come to you soon and very soon. He said, in fact, I see a wind hitting you in the back and ushering you forward into a new season of life. He said, and the Lord is going to give you a new house. <laughs> like most, okay, awesome. Little did I know that two hours later, everything about my life would change because I would be invited into an apprenticeship with a worldwide ministry that would require us leaving Charlotte, coming down to Orlando. We would be connected with the nations. We would have the privilege, the privilege to travel the world alongside in the form of discipleship, one of the greatest men of God this generation has ever known, and even one of the greats in our day and the greatest preachers alive. We would have the privilege to be a part of this team and to travel, and this would be our experience. So I felt the need to call Michael and to let him know uh, that he was not a false prophet. <laughs> but in fact, every single word in detail that he spoke over my life came to pass just a few short hours later. 
again, I will say it for whatever reason, God has put Michael Koulianos into my life to be a voice, to give me what it is that God is saying and to encounter me, <laughs> to bring me into greater places of destiny and purpose and all of these things that we so jealously pursue. And I thank God for the ministry of Jesus image and for Michael's life as he has given himself to Jesus because I know that I would not be who I am in the Lord without who Michael has given himself to be in the Lord. And for that, I am forever grateful.